Here started. we are, going to the beach. Yeah. We cleaned our shoes back there. Yep, to stop the carry die back. Look after the carry, please. Yeah. Sparrows over there. We're going for a walk. Yeah. Some sheep over there. Yeah, she goes down there. Sparrow. The hunters stalk the sparrow for food. <laughs> Come here! Right. We've only been filming for like 50 seconds now. to the beach. Gas, 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 I'm gonna sip on the gas. Dinner! Oh my god, that bird surprised me. Go cross country. Some Maori words sound like you're swearing. Yeah, that swears. That sounds like it has an effort in it. Yeah, it's actually spelled different. Yeah. It's W H A K. Now, if you the if you word. Yeah. yeah. And it's in Maori. Yeah. It's in, in the Maori language. In New Zealand. The New Zealand Maori language. New Zealand has three languages. Yeah. So we have sign language, Maori, and English, which we, have, which is why we're currently speaking. Close by we have Samoans and Fiji. Yeah. Yeah. Native NZ trees. I think that might be a native Africa tree. Sort of looks like that. Right. There's a fan tail in the tree. Yeah, the lower a, part of the tree. There's a fan tail up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. They like following people who make loud noises because it startles bugs and then they eat the bugs that are startled. Yeah, it's flying. Oh, yeah. You can see a little guy flying around. There he is. Yeah, I think that fantail is going to start following us around. There's some New Zealand native ferns over there. Yeah, the silver fern. You can see the fern up there that's got a white underneath. Yep. White underneath of the fern is a silver fern. Yeah. Oh, look down there. Yeah, there's a pukiko down there. Quite pretty bird size. Also, native New Zealand, which is like the fantails following us back there. Yeah, fantails are a little bit smaller than 
a sparrow and they have a big tail. Like a fan. Like a fan. It helps them to really good things. Yeah, that's how they get their name. Yep, that's how they take the bite. Yeah. I remember going on a walk and I ended up seeing quite a few pooky cows. Yeah, because I ended up walking around the lake. Yeah. There's two pooky cows down there. Those two black spots there are pooky cows. You can search them up. Almost at the beach. Yeah. Oh, there's rainbow down there in the distance. Yeah, maybe it's because it's starting to rain. This looks like a salt land. There's some forestry areas over here. Good place for native birds to roam around. There's quite a few native birds to New Zealand. Kiwis, wood pigeons, yeah, fantails. Yeah, we have our own wood pigeons. Yeah. Tui. Yeah. We got. Kia. Yeah, Kia. Yeah, cockapoos are actually flightless birds. Same with kiwis. Kiwis have long beaks. And uh, pukikos, they can fly short distances. Yeah. Mostly found roaming around the ground. Probably searching for bugs and I've, stuff. I've seen a few pukikos fly from one side of a river to the other. Yeah. That's about the limit. Yeah. So I think of the length of the river. That's about as far so as I can fly. Yeah, with the river. Say to rain on us. Yeah. So rain coats. Yeah, which is good. Yeah. Get to the beach. about New Zealand too. Yeah. Like this there's this person called Maui and there's a myth that he actually fished up the North Island. Yeah. Yeah, I have a Maui book back in the caravan. His brothers ended up so what Maui did was he told his brothers not to do any damage to his flat stingray, but once he was out of sight, the brothers ended up batting it and making a vast valley. Yeah, and and that's why the North Island of New Zealand sort of looks like a battered stingray. And I thought that the South Island sort of looks like the it sort of looks like a wheat bix spa. Yeah, flax. He was also a shape shifter.
13 minutes. This is two minute video. So far. Yeah, hopefully we can see before it starts raining hard. My hands are cold. I don't have a GoPro which has a waterproof suit on it, sort of thing, that I can probably use underneath water. Yeah. Or I can also use it on bikes. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, almost 11 minutes. So that's a PNT and you can see the silver fern? Yeah, the silver one. Uh, silver ferns. So it looks like there's a trail here. Yep, that's silver. The underneath of it. Yeah. Some dead ones over here. Uh, and the Maori people, I also learned that the Maori people lived here on New Zealand for over 500 years. Mm -hmm. Not about that long. Yeah. So for that long time, they had out New Zealand, aka Aotearoa, which is what they called it, to themselves. But then English people came in and took over. Yeah. They ended up beating the Maoris. Which is why you don't see a lot of Maori people now. So basically the English people got greedy and took Aotearoa and they called it New Zealand, mm. which is what it's known as today. However, they did set up a treaty with the Maoris, with the Treaty of Waitangi, and because of how badly the Maoris were handled when New Z uh, white people arrived, the Maoris were able to take the uh, families of those white people to court and they won large settlements of money and land that was taken from them. Yeah. So that's why don't be greedy. Because yeah. you need to think about other people too. Yeah. 14 minutes. That's why the Treaty of Waitangi Tribunal was set up. Yeah, to trick them and steal the land. No, the, the Treaty of Waitangi. Green water. It was green water. Yeah. Yeah, the Treaty of Waitangi was set up. That's why they had to set up a tribunal so that the Maoris could get back what was stolen from them. Yeah. And the Maoris did win a lot of cases. Which is good. They yeah. hardly knew English though. Yeah. But now they know English. Yeah. 
Nowadays, Maori people know English. Fifteen minutes. Oh. My record for steps is twenty-five thousand. Each Maori tribe has their own park or meeting place set up in the area where they can go and discuss uh, matters relating to them. Yeah. Oh, a bear. Oh, I think that's a tui. No, it's a wood pigeon. Yeah, it's a, one of our native wood pigeons. Up there in the tree. That little black dot is a. Uh... Zoom in on that. Yep. Yep. Wow. Oh, cool. It's eating parts of the tree. Yeah, it's one of our natives. Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Tuis have little white puffs on their chest. It's right there on that tree. One of our natives. It's cool. Wonder if we can catch any more natives. Fantail. Mm -hmm. And pretty uh, cows. Mm -hmm. Wood pigeon and a panther. Yeah, pickacos. Uh, yeah, three pickacos. The time is twelve forty one. If we order to know. Person up ahead, the yellow thing. Poor mm -hmm. ferns over here. Who mm has -hmm. been here, too? Okay, we need to close this. We need to close this gate after we open it. Oh, look. to trick the vice oh, ready go. Yeah. Where are that guys? Through the gully. Do you want to go get through the gully or do I go get it wrong? Maybe we could go check out the gully and then continue down that way. It's almost 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh, it's 30 minutes. Okay. How many? 30. We just sit on the gate. Yeah. I'll start off. Have a look through the water. Yeah. Well, it looks like there's a trap over there. Catching nasty pests. Yeah, that are bad for our environment. Yeah. 
No, it doesn't look like there's anything in there. Not in that one. No. Those traps cast captures unneeded rodents that are introduced to New Zealand by the countries. Uh, yeah, bad for them. And they eat the native trees. Yeah. The birds and the trees suffer from those trees. Yeah. Well, I thought that was a native bird over there. Sound like a phantom. Yeah. That, that little squeak was a phantom. Yeah. Pause the video so it's. Yeah. Woo. How long will we walk, Justin? What's the time on the video? 20 minutes, uh, almost 21. I do a moonwalk. Do, do. Like a Jackson. Look down there. Long way down. Yeah. Way, way down there. Yeah. There's water down there. Yeah. I have done. 2,471 steps so far. It's going up. Mm -hmm. More native ferns here. Yep, that's the silver. Yep, there. Some dead ferns around there too. Mm -hmm. Do you not want to fall down there? <laughs> Fresh air. More native ferns. I really like nature. That's one thing about me. Yeah. Oh, God. Something fell. This reminds me of Broken Hill. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's walk across this new bridge here. We go deeper into the forest theory. Yeah, okay, stairs. Stick. Yeet. Okay. 
to bridge now. A few stairs. One, two, there you go, bridge. Stock yard, five minutes. Okay, stock yard is that way. That's where we came from. Yeah, that's right here. Oh, friends. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, more servers. Imagine if there was golden friends. Yeah, there probably is, but we probably don't know about them. People use gold to make their necklaces. Yeah. For around about three minutes until we reach half an hour. Oh, yeah. Long walk. Yeah. Yep, three minutes until we reach half an hour. Little baby fern plant. Nice. Some more little ferns. And lots of big ferns. These ferns must have been here for a while. Oh, there's sheep up there. Closer. Yeah, let's take a look at look up closer. Yep. Two minutes until we reach half an hour. Uh -huh. See all those little white dots? Those are sheep. <laughs> New Zealand does have a high population of sheep. Yes, we do. Yeah. A lot of farms. Yeah, which is good. Keeping their population sturdy. So, we've got a lot of sheep. Oh, look, there's a gate up ahead. Gate. Okay. Oh, there's like up there. One more minute until we reach half an hour. Uh -huh. Oh, yellow. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wonder what's up here. muddy here. Yeah. Sort of reminds me of a, I remember going to a tough guy, tough girl challenge. Oh, we can go check out the sheep too. There's a guy over here. Yes, we can. Staring at us. Let me close this one before we open this one. Two sheep staring at us. Three, four. 
Okay, we be kind to them. Oh, half an hour. Okay. I, I do know that my mother has 39 sheep. But I'm pretty sure there's way more sheep here than 39. What would all of them? I don't know. Okay. What's up, sheep? Oh, okay, he does not like us. Nope, he's leaving. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of them. Might have a new longest video. Sheepy butt. Sheep bum. Sheep all the way down there alone. And I learned sheep down there. Sheep poo. Lots of sheep poo. Which will eventually turn into soil. It's black. Some others are brown. That sheep has spots. Is going to walk towards us. I just roll in the video here. 
next. Bye, guys.